Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I will be showing you how to fix this iTunes error. iTunes cannot read the contents of the iPhone. Go to the summary tab and click restore. So you do not need to restore. This is a really easy fix. Uh, you, do, you do not need to be jailbroken. Uh, it's better if you are jailbroken, but you do not need to be jailbroken. Um, I do have a jailbroken iPhone here, which I will be showing you. I just did a couple minutes ago, and now I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, you don't need to go through the hassle and restore your iPhone. Uh, so if you aren't jailbroken, you can find a third-party file system access uh, program, such as iExplorer or iFunbox to do this, but I'm using Filza. You can also use iFile if you are jailbroken. Uh, Filza is the better one in my opinion. But, uh, so without further ado, let's get started here. I'm going to bring up my iPhone on the screen here. And what you want to do is go into VAR, go into mobile, mobile, and then go into media. After that, scroll down to iTunes control click iTunes, scroll down to you see iTunes CDB. You want to rename it to CDBX and just click done. Now I'm just going to click on cancel because I've already done this and it works perfectly fine right now. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a temporary fix. I think it's a permanent fix but still uh, after you rename it CDBX and you plug in your phone to iTunes, your information and your phone will come up. Uh, it might take a couple seconds because it's recreating that iTunes CDB file. And once that's all done, you can delete the iTunes CDB X, which, will, which was the one that we renamed. You can delete that file and you should have just iTunes CDB. This should work for all of you guys on iOS 12 and under. Um, I haven't personally tried on 12, but this is an iTunes corrupted file error, so it should work on iOS 12. Uh, I have confirmed it does work on 10 and 11. I haven't tried iOS 12 yet since I've had, I haven't had any problems with that. This mostly happens on jailbroken devices uh, because it's really easy to corrupt the iTunes file. But that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully this worked for you guys. If it didn't, or if you have any questions or comments or concerns, just leave them in the comment section below. Everything will be in the description of this video if you do happen to need it. I will try to link some of the non-jailbroken tools that you can use if you're not jailbroken. Uh, but preferably, you should be jailbroken. Um, you don't need to be, but I find it easier if you are jailbroken. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.